What are you guys doing all the way over there? Come here. All right, I'll come and get you. All right, what's up, everybody? Obviously, you see that I am on the Grom. Ignore the way different exhaust note that you guys probably hear right now because that's what this video is pretty much about. So I wanted to make this video before I start dropping a series of Grom install videos, kind of talking about what uh, my end goal is with the Grom because it's changed a little bit since the last time that I've talked to you guys about it. So the last time that I talked to you guys about the Grom, I said I wanted to do kind of an ADV style, um, do some stuff like that, leave the engine kind of simple, do some slight performance mods, pretty much just about it. So since that time, I did a little bit of researching, old Googling, and found out that there's really not many places to ride uh, that are pretty close to me for off-roady ADV kind of stuff. So about the closest one that I was made aware of that I would actually enjoy was about 50 minutes away. So that's very doable and I could even trailer the Grom on one of those like small bike racks or you know something like that for uh, the, the car. But for me to put all that time and money into making an ADV Grom and only barely using the ADV portion of it, uh, I kind of already wasn't looking forward to that. All that being said as well, uh, there was an issue with the tire stuff that I was doing. So the tires that I was looking at for ADV styles were uh, really poor speed ratings and stuff that I wanted to do to the Grom, uh, you know, long term, the speed rating I needed to be above 60 miles an hour. So I gave it a lot of thought, really weighed the pros and cons, and figured out that at least with this Grom, I might eventually get another Grom or maybe even like a Honda Monkey or something, but at least with this Grom, I'm gonna focus on making it a street bike. Um, that being said, I did a ton of research on some different stuff, and here's the following videos that you guys have to look forward to uh, in the immediate like month or two. Um, got a new exhaust, which you can kind of hear now if you're paying attention, uh, but I'm not going to spoil it, just wait for the video. I have a little bit of a different air filter coming in, uh, I have different bars coming in, I have some uh, kind of a myriad of stuff with the clutch and then as well as the oil pump. Uh, I got some new tires coming in, super excited about that because I'm going to show you guys how to install uh, tires on your own instead of bringing it to a dealership and paying a ton of money for it. So I got some new tires, those are coming in real soon, I'm super excited. And then perhaps the biggest thing with the whole Grom build is a very significant amount of engine work. Um, I'm doing all this myself, I always do everything myself. The Grom is a great bike to do engine work too if you've never really done too much before but if you're somewhat mechanically inclined and I don't want to spoil really anything about any of the stuff I got going on uh, but really the engine because that's a big one it's probably going to be a two-part video just because it's so in-depth one day will probably be the absolute you know complete tear down of what I need for the engine and then the next day will probably be the install of the new engine parts the only thing I will tell you is that it may or may not be a big bore kit. So that's pretty much all I got for this video. I just wanted to make it real short, simple, sweet for you guys. Come on, make a video explaining why I switched my train of thought for the Grom, what I plan on doing to the Grom, so what you guys have to look forward to. So please make sure you like this video, that would help me a lot. And then make sure that you turn on the post notification, but you can only do that if you're subscribed, so you gotta do that too. You definitely do not want to miss all the exciting stuff I have coming up for this Grom. Even if you don't plan on doing any of that kind of stuff for yourself, if you don't own a Grom, I think it's going to be super interesting to watch uh, and just kind of get a feel for how much different you can improve the Grom for how cheap. And if you guys are watching this and you have no idea who the riding dad is, he is me, I am him, my name is Chris. This is obviously my Honda Grom, it's a 2020. In the old stables, I have a 2020 Harley Davidson Lowrider S as well. I have a whole build series playlist devoted to the Harley and I have a whole build series playlist devoted to the Grom. I also go for rides like moto vlogs and I review products that I have. I even long term review some bikes and stuff like that. So please check out some of my other content. I would really appreciate it. Comments are always welcome on my YouTube videos. 
but if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation or ask me more of a detailed question or send me pictures about a product or something like that instagram is by far the easiest place to do that so head on over to my instagram too i post pictures as well so give me a follow holler over to me and tell me that you came over from youtube i'll give you a follow back so these are two videos one of which youtube thinks you're gonna like and the other one I just recently uploaded, so make sure you click one or both of those, give it a watch, and until the next time, guys, ride safe, have fun, dead, out.